Hey there YouTubers, this is Luis from On-Site Towing and Recovery in Middletown, New York. So, on this video, it's kind of going to be more of a rant. And my rant's going to be on a lot of the unprofessionalism that I've been seeing on some of the Facebook pages. Um, I myself have been getting hounded lately through uh, Facebook Messenger on my videos about safety and Rec Master certification and how we should be pushing for more certifications to get into the towing industry. Uh, a friend of mine as well has been taking a lot of heat for it and I personally am all for safety and doing things by the book. And the guys that are not are usually not owners. They don't know what it's like to run a towing business. They don't know the, the sacrifices that we have to put into the business, the monetary financial issues that we have starting these businesses and keeping these businesses running. I myself care about the safety of my employees and the safety of my customers. So if you're having a customer help you, helping you do your job, you, my friend, are not a professional. There's no reason why you should have a customer assisting you on the side of a roadway. Now, I say that because God forbid something happens. Winch line breaks, customer slips, falls off the bed, anything. You know, they can pull their hamstring for all we know. That opens us, us owners up for liability and any lawyer in court is going to eat that up and one of the first things they're going to say is you're supposed to be a professional why do you have a customer help you why was the customer doing this why was the customer doing that so all the people that are against doing things by the book they don't understand because they don't own businesses so I'm all for protocol I'm all about doing things direct masters way doing things the way OSHA requires them because I care about safety. I care about my customers. I care about my employees. So next time you're on the side of the roadway and you got a customer there assisting you, you need to stop and think what the repercussions can be if something happens. At the end of the day, it's not going to come back to the driver. It's going to come back to the company. The driver's probably going to get fired and he's going to go on to the next tow company or whatever. And it's just going to be a vicious cycle over and over and over. So for all of you guys bashing me and, and other guys on the, on, the, on the pages calling us the tow police, you know, until you own a business, you will never know what it's like. And that is why you're going to continue to be as what I call a steering wheel holder. And don't get, us, don't get me wrong, my videos are for educational purposes. And I try to educate people as much as I can. There's nothing wrong with constructive criticism. I get criticized every day. You know, I've been getting hounded. I've been getting emails and all types of stuff from my YouTube videos. And I, and I don't mind constructive criticism. And that's the problem with this industry, that we're too closed-minded. And we should be a little bit more open-minded and accepting new ideas, ideas and views from other people. Um, the industry is changing vehicles are changing and with the way the prices of insurances are going up we need to limit the risks that we open ourselves to so like i said next time you're on the side of the road think about the type of risk that you're taking because at the end of the day it can put a business under that's pretty much all i got for you please subscribe slow down move over thanks for watching and once again this is luis from on-site towing recovery in middletown new york thank you